Well, welcome back to Daybreak. We have Ellen Ward here, which means we're doing a little financial advice, and we have uh, a money bag and a chain. So you might you might know where this is going. One of the things we're talking about today is the specific challenges that young people or millennials uh, face when it comes to finances. She's making that face. She doesn't I'm like that word. I don't like the word millennial. Okay, why not? Because I feel like it's a way to trash talk young people. I would agree with that. Do you? Okay, because you're a millennial. Right. Right, that they're lazy, that they don't want to work as hard, yep. that they have too many expectations. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Entitled, stuck to your phone, all of it. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's not worry about the labels, but instead consider some of the specific challenges you have because you're young and we're living in an environment okay. where student debt has escalated. So this is yes. one of the challenges that you may have. Do you have some student debt? I do have a little bit. Yep. And it can feel like a ball and chain. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna keep good this prompt, on because right? okay, good, until good. my student debt's paid off, we're just gonna. And there are some mixed. There are some mixed advice you might have gotten. I have talked to financial advisors who say pay it off. Okay. And then I've talked to other financial advisors who say get a savings plan started first. Okay. So my encouragement would be for you to sit down with a young, just being prejudiced myself here, financial advisor who is sensitive to some of the issues with student debt mm -hmm. and young people and Gets get it. a game plan. Maybe get more than one opinion. Okay. All right. And make a decision. I don't think there is one way to deal with it, but you got to have a plan. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And another thing that can challenge you is the overall financial illiteracy. This is not unique to your generation, but I think it's even more important that you know. We're passing tax laws in this country. Have you noticed? It's been in the, in the news. Regardless of how you feel about it, yep. understand that these laws seem to support people with real estate and with businesses. Mm -hmm. They're corporate friendly. Yeah. So you could start a side hustle. You could get a business going on your own, okay. but you will need a little help. Luckily, I wrote a book. Where did the money go? Which I'm going to leave for you. Is this you on here? It sure is. Okay. Does it look like my high school deal? graduation <laughs> picture? You look great. It's a little older. Well, they airbrush it. So this book teaches you your asset from your elbow. Okay. What's a balance sheet? What's a, uh, what are financial reports? Mm -hmm. Ask the questions of your financial planner, of your banker, and figure out the money, honey. Well, you know, there is a joke that... I'm gonna I love say, it. I'm gonna, still have that on. I told you I'm keeping it on. <laughs> that the M word, I don't want to say it, millennials don't buy houses because we're too busy buying avocado toast. So I think... I saw that headline when yeah. I was researching this mm -hmm. um, uh, segment. Yes. Yeah. Is so, that true? Well, I do love avocado toast, but it's not that expensive. No. So I, it, I think it is a stereotype, <laughs> but I also agree we need to get our money in check and figure out how we're going to pay off all this debt. Yeah, and there is some pressure to have more and do more. You decide what you want. Another book for minimalizing your life, your money near your life is awesome. All right. So uh, I'll leave those for you. Okay, I appreciate that's my, it. That's my I'm gift gonna to need you them. as a young person. Okay, and some other people are going to need it too. So once again, we want to thank you for being here this morning. I'm going to go see if money. I can get this off. <laughs> Daybreak, we'll be right back after this.